What is up everyone? This is Supersight and welcome to another video of Heyday. Now in this video I will be showing you the best use for diamonds and I'll be going into everything diamond related from like how to get them which I'm sure you know to the best mathematical uses for them. So I'm currently on level 15 and I will harvest some stuff to level up right so I'll just plant some sugarcane in there my silo and barn are pretty full and it's kind of annoying but I will continue to just harvest stuff and sell stuff right so I'll, I've been growing pumpkins overnight so I have uh, lots and come on I'm just needing that little bit more XP to to boost me over the line and then it will be awesome reaching level 16 okay I'm getting very close now uh, finish harvesting these pumpkins and that pumpkin right oh, oh there we go level up congratulations you are now a level 16 farmer and that is awesome we have unlocked everything sheep related we have unlocked a sheep pasture we have unlocked sheep we have unlocked wool we have unlocked sheep feed and so uh, sheep are the fourth animal uh, after the chickens cows and pigs and I've unlocked buttered popcorn now buttered popcorn is produced in the popcorn pot and it produces 28.8 coins per hour so 28.8 .8 coins so that is reasonable for uh, butter popcorn we've also unlocked uh, some flowers that attract butterflies uh, so, uh, a laundry tub and trail okay so I yeah I've got to do that I, I need to remember to just go rate them and then they'll be happy and won't keep asking right so I've got all the stuff on my farm that I'm collecting up I've got uh, different things that I can produce and my my barn is often full but no matter I will continue to go on with that with it being full and a couple of these have sold which is good so I'm just going to quickly sell off some stuff to free up some space and I'll check here and uh, there's not much that I can sell but there's a little bit enough to make it work and then I just realized I need the brown sugar and I grew Oh, that's really frustrating how I just did that. Anyway, we'll make some uh, of that and of that, and there we go. Right, so we'll make some more uh, banners full. Collect items to free up produ production queue. That's right. So we have reached the max limit, which is apparently 49. So there will be 49 bread there, which I will be collecting up when I have some barn space. I finally reached that. And with my uh, apple trees, uh, they have reached the second harvest. So I've harvested them once and I'll be harvesting them again. So I'll do that. And I will, I'm, I'm not going to be, uh, there's not going to be room to put my sheep farm because I have filled up every bit of space. So I will uh, try and make some room without cutting stuff down. That will be the idea. Anyway, and I'll just quickly spin that. Hoping to get the, wait for it. No, I'm a bolt? Nope. Okay, this thing. A trumpet-looking lo thing. So that is okay. And, yeah, this is really frustrating me. Like, everything is full. I can't do anything. I'm just having to wait for that to sell. Anyway, while I'm waiting, I will get to the point of this video, which is about diamonds and how to best spend them. Now, I'll start by just going over the basics of diamonds. So diamonds are a currency in the game. You've got diamonds and you've got coins. They are not required to uh, progress through the game, well, play the game and progress through the game, but they, they are... What is up? This is Supersight Beckham, and I am very sorry to announce that the game crashed, like, it didn't crash when I was recording, but it stopped recording for the last half of the video, and I had a really nice video with the diamond one, but it, it didn't work, so I ended up spending all my diamonds and it not being recorded, which was very sad. But I will uh, go over it again, and uh, yeah, I, 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 sadly I've spent the diamonds, but that doesn't matter because the aim of this episode is to educate you on the diamonds and the best use for them, even though I have spent them. So I'm not going to bother collecting all the stuff, even though I definitely should be collecting, well, I just got five diamonds. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to get straight into back where I was. So, as I was saying, that the diamonds can't, they can get, they, they're very useful, they can, like, 
buy you spe- uh, special decorations and they can progress you really fast through the game, but they can't pro- like it's not compulsory to have diamonds to progress through the game. They're just really useful to have. But regardless of whether you buy them or not, you're always going to get some in game, so it's always good to know how to spend them. So now I'll just go back to the topic of the diamonds. And so diamonds are uh, they can be used to make two uh, special products. They can make uh, diamond rings and mystery nets. Now the mystery nets cost diamonds to make, so the irony is that you're just spending diamonds to get diamonds, so that ten, ten, doesn't tend to work. Now, there at the start of the game, you're given 30 diamonds, which is really useful. I started with 30 diamonds, and they are often given as a reward for leveling up. There are certain ways to get diamonds, which I'm sure you all know, like by completing achievements, catching new fish, participating in some global events, getting a gift package from Alfred after a maintenance event, and watching at night at the movie, those ads right there. Now, uh, you can win some by um, digging in the mine, mining and all that, and that will get you some. You can find them in mystery boxes like I just did then. You can buy uh, mystery packages in uh, the catalog, which is right there. But, uh, yeah, you can win them that way. Uh, you can, as I said before, win them with uh, mystery nets, but that doesn't always work the best. And you can pop uh, Tom's balloon that flies up sometimes. Now, this is, like, good to know how to get them in the different ways, but that's not the most relevant thing to know, because I'm going to be explaining the best use for them, because there's, there's so many different uses you can spend them on. You can use them to buy materials you don't have, to buy coins you don't have, to speed up things, to buy decorations, to spin the wheel again. There are just so many different ways you can spend them, which begs the question, what is the best way to spend them? And so I've done a bit of research into it and what will get you the most value. Anyway, I've come to a conclusion on what way of spending them will make you, will, will have the best value. And I found that by far there are two ways that are definitely the best ways to use them. And that is by unlocking more production slots and unlocking roadside shop slots like here. And so I did, I went ahead and bought three in my last episode. Uh, that, well, in my recording that didn't quite record. And so I bought the, I might have bought, yeah, I bought three slots. So that one, that one, that one. And that, the first one cost five diamonds and seven diamonds and nine diamonds because it continuously goes up by two. But you don't need to buy heaps. You just need to buy uh, a certain amount, just enough to have some space. But the main thing that you want to be spending your diamonds on is production slots. And there's so many production buildings, so it's like, well, what one do I spend them on? That There's so many. Now, there is a special way to working out which way you would spend them on. So, basically, the goal is to have as many production machines going as much as possible. Now, just look at my farm. What do you see? None. But that's just because of the set. I'm just trying to tell you. Anyway, so you want to have them all going because that will get you the most value. But sadly, we all have to have breaks from heyday and we have to stop playing because if we were on 100% of the time, there would be absolutely no reason to buy extra production slots. The purpose of production slots is so that your machines keep producing things when you're not there. Now, most machines come with the standard two. Now, I bought a pre uh, another one in, in the last episode. Likewise, with the sugar mill, I bought one, and with the dairy, and with the popcorn pot, and I bought an extra one because the uh, feed mill start with three. But what you, uh, you start with two, and you all have different products that you can produce, and that, but, so I'm going to tell you the way to work out which one, which machine to upgrade and get the extra production slot in because there is it's certainly not random and it's certainly not that you want to get like four of each of all of them then five of each it's there's a special way to work it out now the way to work it out is that you have to work out what well actually no i'll I'll take it back a step if you stop playing heyday for like uh let's say just any amount of time if well let's say you stop playing heyday for five hours let's say Now, cream is the most profitable uh, item to produce in the dairy, and cheese, out of these three, is the least profitable to produce. 
Now, often, you're always, when, when you're on, you're active, you always want to be producing cream. But the thing is, for example, if you look here, uh, if I put three cream in now, it will last for an hour and then the dairy will stop. Now, let's say I was going away for five hours. It would be more, uh, it would make you more coins uh, long term by producing three cheeses in that time than producing three cream. Because although cream are more profitable, it means that the dairy would only run for one hour. Whereas if you put cheese in, the dairy would run for three hours. So when you like take big breaks from heyday, you always want to go with the longest producing item. And for example, if I was going to be, let's say, um, two and a half hours, then I might want to go a cheese, a cheese, and a butter. So it would it would stop, uh, the dairy would shut down at about the exact same time that I got back on. But normally, you pr when you, for example, go to bed, you'll always put the highest value item on, unless you had unlocked all ten slots, in which you can do some lower ones, but even so, you'd still want to do mostly cheese. Now, the the way to work out what slot to unlock is slightly more, well, actually, it's fairly simple. What you do is you work out how much the maximum uh, the, the, of all the products that you've unlocked at your current level, you work out which one takes the longest. And in this case, for me, it's cheese. So cheese takes an hour. So now the maximum time I can keep that dairy going without me being on plain heyday is three hours because I have three slots and if I put three lots of cheese which take one hour in, that will last me three hours. Same with uh, the popcorn pot. I have got three, uh, if I put three buttered popcorn in, that would last three hours. Same with uh, the barbecue grill, three hours. But not, oh wait, uh, yeah, yeah, not the same with the dairy mill, uh, the, the sugar mill, because if I put three lots of white sugar in, which takes 40 minutes, the total would come to two hours, yet with the uh, barbecue grill and other machines, the total would be three hours. So then that means that after two hours, the dairy mill would stop producing, yet the, the, sh the barbecue grill would keep going for three hours, uh, an, an additional hour from the sugar mill, because it goes for three hours, the sugar mill goes for two hours. So, that, that is the indication that you want to upgrade the sugar mill, because you want all the maximum, so, so you want the maximum amount of time that your machine can go for, which is the, the longest, the, the pr product that takes the longest to produce, which is in, in the barbecue grills case, bacon and eggs, times the amount of slots you have. So that will go for three hours. And if you have the white sugar times the three slots, one, two, three, that will only go for two hours. Therefore, you want that the total amount of time that you can go away to be equal. Now, although it wouldn't exactly make it equal by unlocking another slot, it would mean that it would go for two hours and 40 minutes. The sugar mill and the barbecue would go, barbecue grill would go for three hours. So it's very close. So of, if you, I could upgrade the barbecue grill, the dairy, the popcorn pot or the sugar mill, the slot I would want to unlock would be the sugar mill because that would mean that then it would uh, it would create a almost equal length of time that I could go stop playing Heyday 4 and they would continue producing. Now these other machines like this where the top one is in this case sheep feed so that goes for two hours so that would also be another one that I would consider upgrading alongside the sugar mill and that would then add an additional 30 minutes if I unlocked a feed mill slot and the sugar mill would add 40 minutes because the top slot, the, the top thing I would unlock would be uh, white sugar. So those would be two of the machines that I would consider upgrading because then I have the longest time because that is ultimately the, the whole goal of uh, up getting the, the production slots longer and as many as possible and that's why it's so important because you want to be able to go away from heyday as long as possible while all your machines still produce. Ideally you want to be on because then you can produce the most profitable items but if you have to take a break which you have to do every day and that is called sleep like going to bed that is normally approximately an eight hour break. So the goal is to be able to get all the machines to go for eight hours. So in order to do that, I would have to unlock eight slots in the dairy or at, at my current level because the the uh, goat's cheese will probably have a longer time. I can't recall what it is. It might be two hours, which changes it slightly. But for your level, 
you want to be unlocking the, the, the slots that have the least possible maximum time. But the ultimate goal is to be able to have the total amount of time that your production machines go for to be about eight hours so that you can go to bed and then you wake up in the morning and all the mach machines are just finishing as you wake up or like still going when you get up. That is really good because it means that you're always continuously making profit. Whereas currently, if I go to bed and I put three cheese in, that will last three hours and then three hours while into while I'm sleeping, then the dairy will stop and then I'll be losing and missing out on coins because it's not producing. And so ideally you want to upgrade all of them as much as possible, but since we haven't got that many diamonds, you just have to upgrade the ones that it's going to help the most. Because although all of them you're going to have to have that sleep break, in the day you might have you have to have a lot of breaks, and so you want them all the production machines to, to go for an equal amount of time if you had to get off, and so when you get back on, they'll all still be producing. Because if you, for example, just fully unlock the dairy, all the slots and that, then although the dairy might go all night, all these other machines are going to stop. So then it, it wouldn't be as good. So you want you want to upgrade all the uh, machines equally, like not exactly equally in slots, just equally as in the total time they will go for without without being attended or supervised by me playing Heyday is equal. And so therefore, when I get off, they will go for the same amount of time. So that is, I, I hope that's not too complicated. I tried to keep it simple because that is the idea. So you you main, you want to spend either all of your diamonds on uh, production slots. You may want to spend one or unlock, I don't know, like a few slots, not that many in the, the roadside shop. Try and get friends like on Facebook if you can because that will unlock you a ton of free slots for free basically, and so that's far more efficient, like, it's not like you can unlock production slots by getting friends on Facebook, but with the roadside shop, you can, so if you, if it's possible, you always want to, to go get friends to unlock the roadside shops, but if you haven't got Facebook, or you haven't got many friends on Facebook, you can just, uh, uh buy a few, but don't overdo it, because they do, it gets more and more expensive to unlock more and more slots. But basically, the idea is you always want to be uh, using all your diamonds, like no matter what, unless of course you really want that decoration so badly. I'm not saying don't buy it. If you want to buy it, that's totally fine. I'm just saying the best use that will make you the most coins long term, uh, and probably the most happiness in Heyday, because then you have more coins, therefore you'll be more happy rather than having this one decoration. You know what I'm trying to get at because you can buy like uh, let's find a decoration. Uh, sorry, um, you can buy a decoration. Let's see, like, like oh right, so that just crashed again. But you can buy decorations that are very expensive for like lots of ninety diamonds. Like sure, you might like a panda statue, but seriously, think of the amount of slots you could unlock with ninety diamonds. That would be phenomenally good and it would ex be extremely beneficial for you to have all those extra slots unlocked. So I hope you sort of got what I was getting at and the, and the, and the idea of unlocking the, the slots not necessary so you have like for example four and then four and that just so the time it equals is the same. Now if you're higher level it, it, it becomes easier to decide because you've unlocked more products so you know which, uh, which, how long they produce, but uh, one of the main ones to unlock, uh, since that the times aren't that long, two of the ones that two of the machines that you really want to go ahead for is generally the feed mills, feed mill one and feed mill two, unlock both of them, the same amount, and also the sugar mill. They're, they're machines that are very useful to unlock more of because they uh, they don't have products that will get you lots of time. Whereas if you like unlock different things like when I get the goat cheese, it will last a bit longer. Same with the uh, chili popcorn. But yeah, when, when you're like lower level, just be upgrading things that will help you. But try and think long term if you can. So if you know the products and how long they take, try and upgrade machines that like, for example, the hamburger, if it took two hours, then I might not want to keep upgrading my barbecue grill because then when I have that many of them, then it will go for a lot longer. Just just like, for example, this one, the pie oven, I haven't bought any additional slots because two pumpkin pies equal four hours, yet these machines are still only at three hours. So even though I haven't upgraded my pie oven, it's, even though it's still only got two slots, it will still go for currently longer 
then most of my other machines will go for simply because it has products that will take a long time to produce. So it's really helpful, although it's like they might not be as profitable, you always want to be producing them if it would mean that your machine would stop producing. So for example, if I was going to be on for, uh, let's say, four hours, it would be better to produce two pumpkin pies than two carrot pies, even though carrot pies are more profitable. So that is basically it. That is my guide to spending diamonds production, uh, unlocking production slots all the way. It's just so, so useful and crucial. Sometimes if you want, you can save up your diamonds uh, so then you uh, uh, get to a higher level and then you can have more accuracy on what you want to unlock because of what products might take longer. But you can also check out the Heyday uh, Wikia and that will tell you how long the the higher products are going to unlock. But most of you will be far higher level than 16, so I'm sure you'll have a far better insight into the products that you've unlocked, and so you'll be able to unlock. But the the, the best ones to unlock more slots in are the sugar mill and the, the feed mills for, for quite a few earlier, earlier levels because they're always good machines to go with because they never unlock super long products. So that is basically it with my diamond guide. Please let me know in the comments what you think the best way to spend diamonds is, but I, I have done a lot of research and seriously the way that I recommend is the best way. It does get you the most profitable ones, but yeah, you go ahead and choose whatever you want to spend them on, but if you're out for more coins in the future and you're wanting a good, useful way to spend them, then this is definitely the way. But if you're into decorations, then yeah, just go ahead and buy decorations. But yeah, that this is the guide of how to use them. Please like it if you found it useful. Please subscribe if you enjoy my content. This has been Super Sight, and remember to make coins faster than honeybees make honey.